She sat in the doorway to my bedroom, in front of the cupboard, unbearable tears falling down her face. She was shaking, trembling, but her body was limp from emotional wearing down, moving only because of her crying. It was painful. For Maya to go through and for me to see, there was ice in my heart and an unrelenting freeze. I sat down close to her, my back against the other wall, so I faced her. Being as close as I was, I almost couldn't look at her. It was too much. I didn't know what to say. Why, she began to say amidst her tears, why did you come to Texas to see me? I fell in love with you, Why, you know that. I responded as best I could. Why did you fall in love with me? It was only for a short time, she said with so much pain and tears that she spoke as if not wanting to, almost hating the words as they came out of her mouth. I was in love with you for three years. Unbearable, horrible, angst-ridden, longing and love for you. It was killing me for a full three years. It ripped me apart the whole time. If I kept going on like that, I would have died, burned myself up to the complete end. You telling me you never wanted to talk to me ever again, over the phone. Then, not hearing from you in six months after trying to contact you, in those six months, my love for you, my in-love, my, my angst-ridden, painful, heart-aching love, died. But it's not that. You don't, you don't even want to be with me anymore. You can be with me and not feel so much pain, but you don't want to. I, I do want to be with you, but not only me. No, I guess not. Why? She asked, barely able to ask through her sobbing. I don't feel it anymore. I love you, but I can't be what you want. I don't want anything from you. You do. You want me to love you the way you want to be loved. And I'm telling you, I can't do that anymore. Everything you say is like a knife. Almost as if you're doing it on purpose. Like you want to hurt me. That's the last thing I want to do to you, Maya. I said with a defensive, frustrated anger, snapping at her. I can't pretend to feel something I don't. I don't want to... I, I, I do want to be honest with you as much as possible. I don't want to be like most men. Most guys would lie to you, tell you how much they're still in love with you, commit to you, tell you that you're their one and only. There's no one else. They never, ever have the slightest interest in other women, say they want to get married, have kids, and so on and so on. Meanwhile... They're always looking at other women when they can, and they end up having secret affairs with other women behind your back. And yet, they'll still tell you how much they love you, and how you're still their one and only, and always will be. I could never do that to you, Maya. That's what I mean by not wanting to hurt you. I want to do the exact opposite. I still love you, but not in the way you want. I told you I don't want anything from you, she said with sharp anger this time. Can you see that one and me to have you as my one and only is wanting something from me? You don't understand. When two people love each other, it's meant to be just them. That's how a lot of people see it. Not everyone. That's the way God meant it. We don't know what God means or meant. Besides, Maya, I could give you that love you need, but I know myself. I know I look at other women. I know something would happen someday. But why would you need someone else? I don't think any one person can completely satisfy another. And there's nothing wrong with that. I don't satisfy you now, but I used to. You do satisfy me. Don't lie. I'm not, just not, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what more I can say. You know how I feel. Maya's tears kept flowing. She was inches away from me. But there was nothing to be done. The love she wanted was dead. I had another kind of love, but it wasn't enough for her. She couldn't accept it.